Welcome to another episode of Mental Health Makeup Monday. If you've been here before, welcome back. And if you're new and just stopping by, hi, so glad you're here. So it's November, you know what that means? Certain customs that perpetuate a false history. Mm -hmm. One that shall not be named during this video. No judgment here, no shame if you are one that celebrates, all right? But I particularly have a little bit of problem with it because I feel like it acts like Native Americans didn't exist until Europeans came along. So that's just my take. Anyway, so I'm not going to be talking about your cliche. I'm grateful for all the things. Again, not judging any of you guys who do that. Okay, more power to you. For me this year, and I'm hoping that it will encourage you to look at November as turning a new leaf. New leaf November. Okay. Also, I'm gonna be attempting a fall look today because, you know, it's fall. New leaf November, what is that about? We grow, we change, we can be reborn, just like leaves in some way. I mean, not literally, but there's beauty in our change. As the leaves change and they fall, right? Hence the word fall. But they're still changing. They're giving back to the earth, nurturing the soil, keeping that tree alive, hopefully. I'm wondering what kind of changes might take place for you if you look at things that way. Die to the old. When we do that, we don't know what we're nurturing, okay? You could be nurturing a beautiful, beautiful tree of life, okay? So I know that sounds ridiculous, but you know, I mean, I'm kind of poetic, you know, sometimes. Right, so you don't have to wait until the new year to start making changes because let's be real, not many of us stick to those resolutions, all right? So, do you need to change your environment? Do you need to cut out toxic people? Maybe the way you look at life and your pursuits. You know, letting go is not easy, it's scary, but we can be reborn, all right, and harvest something new. Just keep that in mind if you feel like you're falling. Uh -huh. Let's take a look at that song. I mean, it just popped in my head because we're talking about Fallen, but Miss Leisha, come on. I hope that's not a real story. I'm just saying. Sounds pretty toxic. Anyway. So when we're trying to turn over a new leaf, we want to look back in the past, this past year, see what we sowed. You know, what are you reaping because of what you sowed this year? And is it something that you want to repeat and cultivate for the following year or no? Maybe you're looking around at your life and you're like, man, I did not do what I needed to do this year or what I wanted to do this year. And now my harvest is looking pretty bare. Yeah, I said it. Are you liking this analogy? Am I losing you? Let me know. So what have you learned about yourself and what have you learned about other people? Maybe you learned something about your family dynamics or stuff going on at work. And if you're looking back and you're like, man, I don't know what I learned. Well, start there. All right. That could also mean that you have to let control of certain things that maybe you have been very stubborn about. So maybe you had started a new venture or attempting something new last year and just didn't work out. So only you can decide when to let that go and it's okay to let things go if it didn't work out. I think sometimes a lot of us push ourselves, I'm talking to myself too, to follow through with things even if they're not working out. And sometimes we just gotta learn when to walk away. All right. And if it makes you anxious to think about letting go, well, think about how much less anxiety you might have if you do let it go. It's momentary, that distress and uncomfortable feelings that you feel when you let something go, as opposed to long-term headaches and suffering because you did it. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Are there certain fears that maybe you're holding on to as well? Oh man, yeah, this is still looking like a pretty dark from the summer. Oh, I think I have another one. Let me go check. I got that from my daughter, by the way. She says that a lot. Maybe, maybe I need to mix them. Mix girl problems. So look at what's holding you back from letting go of control. Is it fear? Is it just stubbornness? Do you feel like you have something you got to prove to yourself or someone else? Either way, perhaps that having that answer might tell you how to proceed. Also, think about what you might attract if you let things go. Instead of what you might potentially be losing out on, what could that change mean for your spirit, your confidence? We could all use a little confidence boost. Maybe it's because you're holding on to something you don't need to be holding on to. Challenge those what ifs. If you're thinking about making a change and you hesitate or you're feeling scared, those can stand in the way of you taking that first step. 
it's a matter of learning that you can trust yourself to manage things if it doesn't go your way. Additionally, besides that fear or things that you can't control, there could be other things that might be holding you back. Hurt, for instance. Have you been hurt? Maybe by a friend or a loved one or an ex. I'm gonna tell you to process that hurt so it does eventually subside. Okay, what caused you pain? What did you learn from it? Are you holding onto it because you're angry? Because you didn't get closure? Maybe you're harboring a bunch of resentment towards that person? Living in that kind of hurt can leave you stuck and not moving forward. Like a stubborn little leaf that doesn't want to fall off the tree. You know those leaves. It's like the last one to let go. How could this anger, resentment, the pain you're holding on to be affecting your life and your current state of mind and your choices? So keep that in mind, because I said so. Healing doesn't mean that we're never gonna have to face those feelings again. Holding on to this belief will trip you up in the future because when it does come up, you're gonna be like, why am I not over this yet? What's wrong with me? It's natural for feelings to circle back around sometimes. Give yourself some grace about that because feelings are weird sometimes. And they're like knocking on your door and you're like, what do you want? But you can't answer it, all right? Otherwise, it's just going to be pounding and nobody wants that. Oh, yeah. Before I forget, thank you, everybody on Instagram for all the lovely birthday wishes. I really appreciate you guys sending me messages and sending me well wishes. So thanks. That was really nice. So tell me, what are some things you might want to let go of? Are you liking this idea of a new leaf November? Not wait until January when you're making resolutions with a hangover. Just saying. I really need to get a mirror that's closer so I'm not having to lean into the camera. We'll see. I'm not even sure if I'm going to continue doing these. But speaking of which, my mom suggested to me that I share with you guys like why I started doing these videos. And I thought, yeah, why not? I don't think that I did. So I love Bailey Sarian. I love, 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 love her. And I was getting ready for videos and I have only a certain amount of time to do things in the morning. Right before I start working in the afternoon, seeing my clients, doing my notes, billing, you know, adulting. So one day I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna get ready and talk at the same time. I mean, nothing compared to Bailey, obviously, but it was a matter of efficiency. So that's why. Which brings me to my next point. What or who inspires you? What motivates you? Focus on those things when you're thinking about turning over a new leaf. All right, guys, almost there. If you made it this far, appreciate it. Also, thanks to those of you who recently subscribed. I'm so glad you're here. We made it to 300. Yay, we made it. I appreciate you guys being with me. And if you're here for the makeup, I'm so sorry to disappoint, but that's not what these videos are about. So whatever it is you celebrate or don't celebrate, I would encourage you to try to keep this stuff in mind. You know, sometimes this whole, I'm grateful for this every day during November, Sometimes it's not all we need. I mean, it's great to practice gratitude for real. Like, you know, that's something you definitely ought to do, but not just in November, okay? Now wait, before you go, if you have any questions or thoughts or you wanna hear about something particular in a video, let me know. I will do it if it's reasonable. Anyway, thanks for watching. Until next time, be well, be strong, and be loved. This is shameful. I'm sorry to disappoint you, Bailey. Not that you're watching this or anything, but you do inspire me. A little turkey neck hair. Mm -hmm. Whatever. That's what this is for. Here we go. Hide that a little bit.